Hello to everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to a COMAP controller using the tool IntelliMonitor. Uh, what you need to know is that I'm going to talk only in this video about quick connect to controller in a direct connection. That's why, because here you have different options, like it can be quick connect to controller, connect to select site, or wait for active call. Plus, when you choose quick connect to controller, you need to choose direct. You have other options like internet, single offline, modem, I'll get, but I'm going to talk only about direct. And you need to connect physically to the controller by a, a cable RS232. And usually you need a USB converter. So you will connect in one side RS232 and in the other side USB. Once you are connected, you will see here uh, the port that is connected. It depends on the computer. You need to choose it. Maybe you have several ones and you need to choose the controller address. There is other ways to connect physically, not only by RS-232, also by USB, Ethernet and so on. But for that, you need the communication module or maybe depends on your unit, if your unit it has a C at the end of the name, like Intelligent NT and then a C, NTC, or Intelligent uh, GSC and then another C, so it will be Intelligent GSC C, that means that it includes the communication module already, so you can connect physically in other way. Once we are connected physically, we need to choose the controller address. The controller address go 1 to 32. And you can try by one, uh, one by one, and it will take quite a lot of time. But uh, there is an option to check the controller address in the controller. For that, you need to go for, to your Intellivision display or to the display that is connected to the controller and go to set points, communication settings, and then you will see the controller address that is assigned to that, uh, to that unit. Before we continue, I would like to show you how exactly you can find this controller address in our displays. I'm going to talk about Intellivision 5, Intellivision 8 and Intellivision 12. Of course, if you have a controller with a display, the idea is the same. You need to go to the menu, to set points, to communication settings and there it will be the controller address. Now, to show you exactly how, where it appears in IB5, IB8 and IB12, and IB12 I prepared this small PPT with just some screenshots. The first one is about Intellivision 5. You will have the Intellivision 5 here and you just need to press the button menu and it will appear the general menu. Here with these arrows and the enter, you need to choose set points. Once you choose set points, it will appear the submenus inside set points. Here you need to choose communication settings and there it is, the controller address, in this case controller address 1. If we continue with Intellivision 8, you will have the display here and here on the top to the right, you will see one, one tool, okay? This one. You just need to press and it will appear the submenu of set points directly here on the right. You need to choose the third one, communication settings, and there you will see the controller address. Again, controller address 1. And in Intellivision 12, I take this picture from the global guide. Uh, in the bottom, you will have this button with three lines that once you press, you will see the setting groups here on the left. You just need to choose communication settings and then here it will appear the controller address. If you want to know more information or more detailed information, the best you can do is going to the ComUp website download the global guide of, of your display and there you will see exactly the details how to do it. Now let's continue. When we have the controller address and we know the controller address, the password by default is zero. If you have different passwords, you need to put it. Just you need to press open connection. And it takes a little bit of time, not too much, but it will start to create the information from the controller. You can see here down that is seen in yellow preparing, reading story, history, and here it will appear this window that it's telling you the percentage of the first con of the controller is one. We will wait a little bit, okay? And once we are connected with IntelliMonitor, we will be able to monitor everything that is happening in the controller via our PC, 
but also we will be able to open the configuration tool in this case it will be genconfig pressing this button here let's wait a little bit also depends of the number of history you have okay if your history is really really big then it will take you much more time to connect to the controller so it's almost done now that it's running it will appear here some information okay you see that i have some warnings that is enough mode i can move to send mode i can start the engine if it's in manual mode and so on resets and there are more things that i'm not gonna talk in this video about IntelliMonitor. and if i want to open the configuration tool gen config i just need to press here of course i need to have it installed on my pc and it will open the gen config directly ready and connect it to the controller So now it's connected. Here I will speak in another video about what is everything that is here. But you can see that I have IntelliMonitor and GenConfig open at the same time. And this is everything that I wanted to explain you in this video. I hope it's useful for you and hope to see you in the next video.